Okay, it's been a long time coming, but here's the performance video I've been promising for a couple days. I know you guys are eager, believe me I am too. I hound the, the devs as much as you hound me for updates, and I'm helping. Um, the speed update you're about to see is a result of a kernel I was able to finally build, um, with the help from Tasmanian Droid especially, to set up my environment. Um, and the actual fix that was put into the kernel I believe was a Greek 35T or Birdman, I don't remember which of them was at this point, but one of them deserved credit for actually knowing what to put into it. Um, but anyway, forgive me, I have a wife that's six months pregnant and I am working around the clock like a dog to keep my business running and keep you guys up to date and work on the development and take care of my wife and it's just insanity. So, anyway, there's my little wine session. This video is actually going to be pretty brief because the ROM works fast, so I don't need much time. I'm just going to hop into the home screens. I'm going to show you the launcher. I'm going to bounce around, show you how quick the stuff loads up, and uh, cover the weather widget and the clock weather widget also very briefly because I've been getting questions about it. And be sure to understand that some of this will be not phone lag, but finger lag. Like there was a little bit of phone lag. And that was a little bit of phone lag. There we go. Okay, so this is updating the news. There we go. News is updated. Oh, here, let's go back to the news one. I think I can scroll these. Yeah, so there you go. You can see how nice and smooth that is. That is not laggy rosy. And even while it's scrolling, you can see I can flick it and, and change panels. Um, here, let's get this guy flying. So there is absolutely no phone lag happening here anymore. Rosie is lightning quick. Um, the launcher, pretty much the same story. That was finger lag. It's because the way I'm... Yeah, there we go. The way I'm using the phone from this angle to keep the phone from bouncing, keep the video sh tight, um, doesn't make for great contact on the screen. You can see it's, you know, I'm, my finger's hovering over call history. I can track it. Before it was so slow, it was virtually impossible to use this launcher because things were so lagged I couldn't follow what I was dragging on. Not intended for you to see that. Okay, so here's the weather. You can see some of the animations are there and they are working. Weather shows up there. Clock app works. We still have a little graphics bug at the bottom, but there are a few of these throughout the ROM that need to be fixed along those lines. This is a cool widget, IP cam viewer. I have some IP based Wi-Fi cams throughout the house, and this is actually showing my front door in real time. I could probably walk over there and you'd see it work. Um, I'm going to go ahead and bring up the weather widget also, just so you can see the weather widget functioning. And I don't know if that power widget just showed you anything and made you hopeful. If it did, I'm sorry. Wi-Fi is still down. Um, phone is semi-functional. We figured out an interesting bug where if you shut off the data, phone works okay. Turn the data back on and you start missing calls. We're working on it. We've got some ideas. Oops. Oh, see, I don't like that bounce because I try to throw it to the end and it does that funny bouncy thing. Uh, so we'll go with the full-size widget. And I think this may be where we see full-screen animation, if anywhere, after it's done updating. Yeah, that seems to be having a little bug still. So. so there you have it, folks. I, I personally haven't even used an HTC phone that ran faster than this. Not saying it's not out there, but I sure haven't used one. And I've tried to run Rosie on a number of phones with virtually no success. Stand by for more updates.